These leaves would fall How I wish these leaves would fall That means winter be here When it snows You disappear How I wish these tears would fall How I wish these tears would fall Cause my wits have found their rest And the days are getting shorter And I'm lonely again Homecoming lights, they burn so bright I used to dream of her in white Gone are the days High school of faith How I wish you would call How I wish that you would call Hear your voice one more time Send them chills down my spine Homecoming lights, they burn so bright I used to dream of her in white Gone are the days High school love If I can go back for a minute and feel that good love I was given and through the years I keep forgetting and then those leaves fall and I remember it all how I wish these leaves were Fall. And how I wish these tears would fall How I wish you would call But gone all the days High school love Father this is your marriage ceremony, where both Crystal and Jonathan formally receive the gift you've given them of each other and become one. We thank you that you have given them to one another. We thank you for all who are here today to celebrate, and we trust that all the family who have departed this earth are bearing witness to the ceremony of love along with all of us here. God, may Crystal and Jonathan feel your love of them and feel the love of all who are gathered here today. Families are most important to God, and family is also important to Crystal and Jonathan. And we have two wonderful families represented here in the forming of this couple. Both Crystal and Jonathan have shared with me how important each of their families are to them. So to all of you who are family and friends who have poured your love into Jonathan and Crystal from birth until this very moment, I say to you, well done. It's obvious the fruit of your love is seen in them. And Crystal and Jonathan would like to publicly bless their parents with the truth of who each of you are to them. So to Jonathan's parents, Angela and John, Jonathan said, Dad, 
You showed me the value of hard work. You taught me the importance of always speaking truths. You taught me that integrity should never be sacrificed for acceptance. And above all, you showed me what it means to be a man. Thank you, and I love you. Mom, you were the first person to ever love me, the first person to hold me when I cried, the first person to ever encourage me, the one person who always accepted my failures, and the loudest person who cheered my victories. You will always have a special place in my heart. I thank you and I love you. And to Crystal's parents, Becky and Michael, Crystal said, Mom, thank you for teaching me about love and putting my happiness before your own. You always sacrificed for us and you were always there no matter what. You made life really fun and you taught me to dance in the rain. Someday, I hope to be the kind of mom that you are to me. I love you so much. And to Dad, thank you for working so hard to support our family. You have made me strong and courageous, and your example has made me a hard worker. Your affection and love has made me the secure, confident woman that I am today. I asked each of them last week why they are choosing the other. And they just poured it out of their heart. Crystal said about you, Jonathan, I really love him. There is no one else that I would want to be with, and I do not want to live life without him. He supports me in the ways I've never felt supported in my entire life. He believes in me, encourages me, and he makes me believe I can do anything. He's so passionate about what he does, and he's passionate about life, and he's a dreamer, and he has really big dreams, and he'll go after them. And he believes he can do anything, and that I can do anything, and that we can do anything together. He's really adventurous, and so with him, life is really exciting. We just have so much fun. He makes me want to be better for him. He makes me feel like I'm the most important person in the world. I want to be the person who is encouraging and motivating to him that will catch him when he falls, comfort him, and then, and then motivate him. I want to be there when life gets really hard, not just when life is awesome. I want to be with him in every moment. I want to be his joy. And Jonathan said about you, Crystal, to have a friend within a romantic relationship is just amazing. I want to be a better man for her. I never had anyone love me through my imperfections who allowed me to accept myself not being perfect. She loves me as the person I am. It hurts her when I am hurt. To have someone care for you that much, well, it's just amazing. Because of how she loves me and what she showed me about love, I want to give her the world. If I had to choose of going without or me going without, I would always choose me going without. I want her to be happier than me. She is a natural beauty. I stare at her when she sleeps. I love her without makeup. She motivates me to be a better man, and ever since I met her, my life has been so much better. I want to take care of everything for her and to give her the world. Crystal, today I become your husband and in return you become my wife. So, as your husband, I promise to adore you on your best days, encourage you on your worst, and love you on each step in between. I will strive to give you the best of me, even when it's hard. As your husband, I give you my trust, my safe zone, all of my dreams, and even promise to share some of my favorite video games with you. I promise to give you my understanding, give you my patience, and even my punctuality on date night. As your husband, I promise to hold you as often as possible, and I promise to do the dishes just as much as you. Um, Though I can't promise I'll do the laundry as much. I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not as good as that. Um, but I promise to never let you win at hoop fever um, because you're entirely too competitive for that. Um, but I do promise that I'll never keep score. Um, because of you, uh, Crystal, I've learned the meaning, uh, the true meaning of grace 
sincerity, and selfless, selfless love. Uh, you have loved me through my imperfections. Uh, you encourage me to embrace my emotions, uh, even the sad ones. Um, and you showed me how to hope again. Um, and I know that God took his time uh, when he made me. And I thank him every day for bringing it to me. As your husband, I vow to lend you my strength when you need it, give you my voice when you want it, and promise to be quiet when you just want me to listen. I promise to never turn my back on you. I vow to never abandon you. Um, when our love is easy, I'll be here, and when it's hard, I'll still be here. Um, and I will care and protect your heart, and I will support your dreams. As your husband, I choose you. I'll always choose it. Yes, I promise. Jonathan, on this day today, the most important day of my life, I pledge my love to you. As I join my life to yours, I give you myself, all of me, my whole heart, mind, body, and soul. Every part of who I am and every part of who I will become. And today I promise to be your partner in all things, not possessing you, but working with you as part of the whole. Your partner in parenthood, your ally in conflict, your greatest fan, your comrade in adventure, your consolation in disappointment, and your accomplice in mischief. <laughs> Today, I promise to encourage your passions because that is what makes you unique and wonderful. I promise to nurture your dreams because through them your soul shines. I promise to help shoulder our challenges for there's nothing we cannot face if we stand together. And I promise to always make our family's love and happiness my, pri my priority because everything else can wait. On this day today, I promise for the rest of my life to hold you with the highest regard and the utmost respect, to take care of you, appreciate you, and never take you for granted. I promise to live in truth with you and to communicate fully and fearlessly, to never lie to you, never betray you, and never destroy your trust, to have your back and never, ever turn mine. To always forgive and always let go. To never stop trying and to never get used to you. Today I take you as my husband, acknowledging and accepting your faults and strengths as you do mine. I will be yours in plenty and in want, in sickness and in health, in failure and in triumph. I will dream with you, celebrate with you, and walk beside you through whatever our lives may bring. This is my sacred vow to you, my equal in all things. You are my person, my love, and my life today, forever, and always. I love you. As Crystal and Jonathan have consented together in holy wedlock before God and all of you, their witnesses, it is my privilege to pronounce you both husband and wife. Jonathan, you may kiss. It's my honor to introduce you to Mr. and Mrs. Jonathan Michael McDonald.
Um, for those who don't know me, my name is Michelle. I'm Crystal's younger sister and co-maid of honor. My sister is the most beautiful, strong, intelligent, loving, and compassionate person I know. With six years difference between us, it's safe to say I have looked up to Crystal as a role model my entire life. Even though most of my life she's bossed me around. <laughs> as we've grown older, we've only gotten closer. I truly consider Crystal my best friend. And it's not all bad having a bossy older sister. As much as I hated being told what to do, I've learned so much from her. By example alone, my sister has taught me how to be a woman. I admire her drive, ambition, humility, values. In my eyes, my sister is perfect. And because of that, I never thought anyone would be good enough for her. That is until I met Jonathan. He became a brother to me throughout their relationship, always looking out for me, giving me advice and encouraging me. The same amazing qualities I see in my sister, I see in John. I believe he brings out the best in her as she does him. Jonathan and Crystal don't just complement one another, they complete each other. And he meets all of the qualifications on her checklist, so that's a plus. <laughs> With all that being said, Crystal, I could not pick a better husband for you, and I'm so proud and thankful for you both. So, everyone, raise a glass, and let's toast to the bride and groom. Yay. Okay. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Caitlin. I've known Crystal for almost five years now. It feels like it's been a year. It feels like yesterday that we met. And from the moment that I met Crystal, I just knew that I wanted to be like her in every way. Mostly her clothes and her fashion style. <laughs> But as I got to know her, I just realized that every characteristic that she has, I want to embody in my life. Crystal's my best friend and the best person I've ever met. When Crystal started to pursue Jonathan and their relationship just grew, I knew that it would just never end. I hope that the relationship I have and the marriage I have is half of what you have, and I know I'll be happy. I'm so honored to be a part of this day. And I know that you're gonna have a beautiful life and beautiful children, hopefully soon. <laughs> Cheers to Crystal and Jonathan. Cheers. If you don't know me, I'm Jonathan's older brother, Charles. You know, the one thing that I can always say is that, uh, you know, Jonathan and I are, are brothers by birth, but we're friends by choice. So for all of the bad times to come, remember that every diamond starts out as a rough rock, only to reach its full potential with time and effort. Marriage is like that. It takes effort, and it gets better over time. And for all the good times to come, remember to share those moments with those closest to you, because family is made of people you choose to include in your life, not just those born with a certain name. So, to my brother Jonathan and my new sister by marriage, who is my friend by choice. I toast you both. Uh, good evening, everybody. Welcome to Columbus, Ohio. My name is Shabunda Nakye. So from Costa Rica to the Paris proposal, he's a fancy guy. And now here is husband and wife. Um, really quick, Crystal, can you please put your left hand on the table? And John, you go ahead and put your right hand on her. That is probably going to be the last time you ever have the upper hand. <laughs> I've known John for a very, 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 very long time. Um, from the time he had braids, we pledge the same fraternity. I know some of the bros are in the building. Ole. And then to the time, he also had a PT Cruiser. <laughs> John picked me up from the airport one time in the PT Cruiser, and I asked him, when did he buy this and why? 
because it's the PT Cruiser. But see, God works in mysterious ways because he got rid of that PT Cruiser before he met Crystal. When I first, I guess, was introduced to Crystal, I was in his crib in Cleveland, and I had actually walked into his room and hit my foot on a box. And I was like, well, what's this box doing in your room? And he said, yo, this box is from Crystal. I'm like, who's Crystal? Yo, she sent me a box. I'm studying for the bar. And it was like a countdown on, from the day at the point all the way through the bar. Basically, it's like a care package to help him be able to mentally prepare himself to be ready to take one of the hardest exams he was ever going to take in his life. And as you know, Jonathan was able to pass the bar on his first time. I say that, you know, again, God, but God placed Crystal in his life at that time for that reason, amongst other reasons, obviously, that we're here today. We're here because we love these two individuals, and we are here to let you know that we are able to help you, and we've been brought or sent by God to be able to be that rock to lean on for support for throughout your marriage. And so um, I just want to say thank you, brother, for being the man that you are, growing into the man you are today, and Crystal for being the woman to be by his side, and you are such a lovely individual, and I, you know, appreciate you for that. To Crystal and John. Good evening, everyone. For those who may not know, I am Mr. Woods, father of the bride, father-in-law to the new groom. I would like for Jonathan and Crystal to take a look around this room. We could have got twice as many people in here. And the reason I want them to take a look around this room, this is an expression of love. These are your people. This is your family, and these are your friends. I called Crystal one day just to check on her. We had one of those father-daughter conversations, and I brought up the subject, are you seeing anyone? And she said, no, Dad. And so we started a discussion about men. And she said something very profound. She said, Dad, I haven't found anyone like you. And I said, Crystal, that is the most wonderful, most flattering thing you've ever said to me. I said, but you need to lower your standards. And the reason I said lower your standards is because I told her at the time, I said, you are never ever going to find someone who loves you the way I love you. And lo and behold, she set out and she came awfully close. And today she sits here with the man who loves her just as much as her father. Weddings are really hard on dad when their daughters are getting married. Um, but it's so much easier seeing the man sitting next to you. I don't have to worry about anything. And I love you both. And all I can say is welcome. And live long and prosper. I want lots of grandchildren. Thank you so much.